fencing off Europe's borders. These Polish soldiers began laying some 180 kilometers of barbed wire this summer. And now the government plans to construct a 350 million euro solid barrier. Its goal, to keep neighboring Belarus from encouraging migrants, largely from Iraq and Afghanistan, to pass through Belarus and into the European Union. There is a hybrid war on the Polish-Belarusian border, a massive and forcible displacement of citizens from other countries organized by the Lukashenko regime. This is the major problem. Lithuania, too, has begun building a wall along its Belarus border. European officials have accused the Belarusian leader, Alexander Lukashenko, of creating an immigration crisis as an attempt to push back against EU sanctions. We share a common ambition, a common goal. We are not against migration, but we are against illegal migration. From Spain to Estonia to Bulgaria, European nations are erecting fences, like this imposing barrier that's just been completed in Greece along its border with Turkey. And a dozen nations have requested EU funds to erect their border walls, arguing that the move protects all of the free travel Schengen zone. But for some, such a move goes against the fundamental tenets of the European Union. The idea of having a Europe that is open, prosperous and welcoming continent is demolished by these countries. In response to the request for wall funding, the EU Commission repeated that while it isn't against border protections, it will not finance fences, arguing that migration policies offer better solutions than a fortressing of Europe.